Hello and welcome to another in my series on uh, solving trig equations. Now, from the outset, I say that we care is needed. This is because there are two ways of solving this equation, and one of them gives you all the values, but not all, but the, the first one here does not give you all the values. So, if we divide uh, every term by tan theta, we end up with six sine theta over tan theta. And we know that six time, sorry, we know that sine theta over cos theta is tan theta. So this now we reduce to six cos theta is equal to one. And that gives us cos theta as one over six, which is positive. Now this suggests that our values will be in the first and fourth quadrants. Right. And because tan theta repeats itself every 180 degrees we have that n into 180 instead of 360, so n into 180 uh, plus or minus 80 plus 4 degrees. And this will give us values of uh, 80.4 de de degrees and 279.6 degrees, and this will be in the, in the first and the fourth quadrants. We could also say that uh, if we take uh, tan theta across, uh, we know that again as before that tan theta is same as sine theta over cos theta and when you multiply every term by cos theta we end up with 6 sine theta cos theta minus sine theta equal to 1 so equal to 0 and um, if we now factorize we have that sine theta into 6 cos theta minus 1 will give us 0 so either six, uh, sine theta is equal to zero, in which case uh, n, n, n times 180 plus zero. So when n is zero, we have zero. When n is one, we have 180 degrees. And when n is two, we have 360 degrees. And if six cos theta minus one is equal to zero, we end up with cos theta is equal to one over six as before. So this that means that our full range of values will be 80, sorry, be 0 degrees, 80.4, 180.180 degrees, 279.6 degrees, and 360 degrees. Now, I hope that's been useful. Um, please subscribe. It's been nice um, being of some help.